Well, I knocked on the door, and this plain-looking guy in his forties answers. He seemed annoyed for the first split second, and then there was something in his eyes. I unleashed hell. He had enough mental fortitude to hold me back, but he could barely move. He starts doing the motions almost in slow motion while Jason slipped past and socked him in the face. That gave me enough distraction to lock him up. We pushed him inside and closed the door. Mike and Jason started checking rooms while the rest of us sat him down in a chair. Avery bound his hands while I started peeling through his mind. Sure enough, he's the one. So what has he been doing with our friends? He's been using them for extraplanar experimentation. I can't make heads or tails of what he's trying to accomplish. But I don't know wizardry. I do know that he hasn't had any success so far. To make matters worse, he's got a buddy that shows up occasionally for organic samples that he can use for some kind of monster research. Why does he need their samples specifically? We're the same as the local humans, right? So Jason comes running back saying he's found them. They're in some kind of magic stasis. That's when everything that could go wrong did. There's a sudden blur in the room. The Rhinegraf spymaster suddenly appears out of fucking nowhere and makes a lunge for me. Now? Really? I was completely caught off guard and take a sword to the gut. Before he can land the killing blow, Avery blasts the shit out of him with her holy light, and Jason buries his blades in his lungs. Then poof, he's gone. Avery manages to get me stabilized and my wounds closed. By this time, the now very confused Archmage is freeing himself and is throwing up his magic defenses. I'm struggling to get on my feet. The ghost pains of being stabbed are nearly debilitating me. Mike comes running out of a side room and just throws down with the Archmage. Fire, explosions, lightning all over the fucking place. Destroying everything. Jason drags me into a side room long enough for me to get back on my feet. Avery sticks with Mike and does her best, adding her own defenses. Marcus is throwing around his bard magic. I hand Jason my gun and send him off while I'm getting to my feet. I finally get back out there. I can't dominate him anymore, not with his defenses up, but I can throw distractions at him. We all manage to bring the fucker down and collapse in a pile. Then we realize half the room is on fire, so we ran around putting that out. The Archmage is still alive, but he's out of the fight. I take the opportunity to dive in and start erasing his spells from his mind, something I should have done the first fucking time. Everyone's exhausted from exertion. Jason hands me back my gun, and we tie up the Archmage again. This time, we cocoon him in the fucking rope. Then, we went off to see about the others. So a few rooms over, and we have the lab. Sure enough, there they are. Ian, Max, and Austin. Just floating there, half-naked, in a blue light, coming from some magic circle on the floor made of salt and blood. We pull them out of it and they start breathing again, but they're unconscious. We set them down, and I take a careful look at their mental states. Their recent memory is pretty fragmented from coming in and out of stasis for whatever reasons. Beyond that, the last full memories were their trip here, and being questioned endlessly by the Archmage, before being magically dominated and used in a few minor rituals, and then shoved in stasis. Their emotional states are overwhelming. They are shit-terrified and have no idea what's going on. I tried doing some memory editing to help them in their recovery once they wake. We moved them into the Archmage's bedroom and are letting them rest for now. 